Hi there. I wanted to ask a very simple question today. What is a South Sudanese ideal family according to you? Thank you. According to me, a family is a unity between two people or more people uh, related by blood or marriage, sharing the same gold. First of all, my name is Moi Gabriel. Uh, it, it's a nice question I, uh, that I want to talk about. To me, uh, family uh, is a social bond that binds us together as people who belong to the same blood. For example, basically, uh, we have a father and a mother and perhaps the children. We call that nuclear family. But to my own understanding about families in South Sudan, I know we have this kind of social bond whereby a father and a mother join hands together and children comes in in the process of their living together and at the same time we have the extended form of it whereby the relatives of the both sides will join them together to stay and form a bigger a cycle of the family. That's what we call extended family. Okay, for me an ideal family would be one where both parents are living with their children and they're able to take care of their needs. That is my ideal family. My name is Ati Tamao. I'm a science student, a little So my understanding and my wish when I deal with family in South Sudan is a family that has coordination, has a good understanding among all the family members uh, in the family. My name is Irene. When I hear about ideal family, what comes to my mind is an extended family of all the relatives living together. Not only relatives, even friends. These friends and relatives staying together helps each other in various ways. And that is what an ideal family means to me in South Sudan. I'm Pastor Pasquale Pachoto Kenya of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Uh, according to my view, uh, South Sudanese family, when we talk of South Sudanese family, there is a Christian and there are those who are not Christian. According to Christian, a South Sudanese family comprises of uh, a husband, a wife, children, mother, mother-in-law, father, father-in-law, aunties. So it is an extended family. But when you go to a, a non-Christian, because those who are not Christian, they also tend to have many wives. So you could say wives, uh, grandchildren, uh, uh, uncles, you talk of uh, grandmothers, you talk of uh, in-laws, and, and so on. So it is extended family. Okay, my name is Dorika Penina Baxter. I live in Juba, South Sudan. Uh, an ideal family is a family where there is a father, mother, the grandfather, the grandmother and other relatives staying in one place. And for this, the head of family who is the son or let me say the husband of the family is the head of the family and he is responsible for the members of, of his household. An ideal family is uh, a family where the husband and the wife have uh, you know established a family and their children are with them and also they have other relatives with them this is called an added family in South Sudan society yeah, I am Peko Martin Alex uh, South Sudan ideal family to my understanding is a family whereby each uh, where there is a mother and the father and all the children at home are stakeholder of running the family so they help each other in case of problem and they coexist and sharing God's word and they live in harmony with the children of God. Thank you. Uh, to me, an ideal family really entails a lot of things. One is, um, first, there are factors that contribute for a family to be ideal. And usually you can't find all those factors in one family. But at least if you get like about 50% or 55%, you can say that your family is ideal. Uh, here in South Sudan, we have issues of extended families. 
we have issues, we don't stay together with our families, communication becomes difficult between spouses, between the children, and if you are able to balance this, plus your own career, your own professional life, and your own spiritual life, you know, an ideal family is that you're doing well spiritually, physically, financially, and all those things, then you can call it ideal. But there is nobody who has all those factors in place. But if you have at least 55%, then you should thank God your family is ideal. Thank you very much.